Alright. Let the floor building commence. If you are new here, I am converting this Ford Transit into a camper van. And the job for today is fitting the subfloor. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fit these battens across here, and then I'll be cutting up the Celotex, and that'll be going in between the battens as the insulation. I'm not gonna be using Celotex for the whole build. The sides are pretty much gonna be recycled plastic bottles with a vapor barrier. But for the floor, 25 mil Celotex. These planks are 25 by 38 mil, and that should give me a nice space. I've also bought some piping as well, which I'm gonna run underneath the floor so that I can run some wires for it. So if I ever need to pipe some wires from, from the front of the van to the back, then it should be a lot easier. So I guess all I gotta do now is get these battens in place. So that's some pretty much placed roughly where I want them. I do need to cut them a little bit short as well, but it's just sort of working out how far back I need to come. I'm probably, probably gonna cut them to this line here, just simply because then that's where the sort of manufacturer's join is and it just seems like a good place. Really don't wanna be covering up any of this, so I reckon to there. Stage one of the floor is done. See, I need to sort of work out where the where the struts are going to go because there's going to be a kitchen unit down this side, so there needs to be a fair amount of support here. That side there's going to be a bench that needs to be screwed down, so there needs to be a fair amount of support in there. The middle, I mean, it's going to need support, but I'm going to put noggins across anyway. For those of you that don't know what noggins are, because I didn't know what they were until my dad told me, and they're just little supports in between your main beams like this. So I'm at this point now, I've pretty much done all my noggins that I want to do. I'm just sort of trying to think about what to do with the doorstep here. So I could leave this gap or just literally run a batten all the way along to, to bring the floor out. But I just think that might be just a little bit too much of a step up. I mean, not for me, mainly for Kate, but there's no point in getting her to test it now because she can't really move much because of she's eight months pregnant. But, yeah, I just don't know. For us that have got little legs, it's not the easiest decision to make. All right? Okay. Got a, qu got a question for you. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm building these... I'm, I'm building these battens here. Because there's no doorstep on this van, yeah, you know, like how yeah. they normally have like a little step down, do you reckon I should build a batten all the way along or leave it lower? I mean, it's not going to be that much lower, that's the thing. What do you mean? I don't quite get what you mean. Right, so I could put a baton right. I could put a baton right to the edge here. Do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> right. So normal doors, yeah, have a doorstep. Normal doors have a doorstep. Right. If I if I build a baton all the way out to here, say like that, right? Well, if I leave a cut out, it will be there. Yeah, but they don't. These ones don't really fit that way. But it's because of the ribs here means that when it sits on top, 25 mil. That was my dad speaking to him. I reckon that. I'm just going to do the wood right to the end because, like he said, if you can't get a full boot on it, it's not really a step anyway. So Now to be able to run this conduit underneath, I've cut a couple of little little marks out of the uh, the noggins there and I'm going to, going to give it a cut. This is not the way to uh, use a jigsaw. Ta-da! Perfect. And that's it. I think I'm ready to start gluing it down. Pretty much got the noggins in all the places that I want them to be. So the trick with anything when it comes to doing any form of gluing, if the surface isn't clean, there's absolutely no point in doing it. So I'm gonna have to take all this back up, give the floor another clean, and then start gluing. So just to give you an idea before I start gluing everything down, this is the Celotex I've literally just cut to fit in that space. And then I'll do every section 
with that and then then some vapor barrier tape stuff that goes over the top just to create a nice seal and then then we can just lay the ply on top now to glue these battens down this is what i used for the silicone the other day and it was fine but this is just not very strong and somebody in the comments told me i should get this heavy duty version of this essentially so i did get one it's off amazon and it's this guy look at the size of it i mean it better do the job because it was 75 quid but if you're interested Anything that I'm using on this van build, I am going to put a link to it on my website. And if you want to know what that is, it's lovesundays.uk. And the glue I've got for it, I just got a B&Q. So, fingers crossed it does the job. See now, with this, I'm not going to put a lot on. I'm just going to put a few little blobs. And I think it'll be fine. The big gun. Now when it comes to putting weight <laughs> on top just to make sure the glue sets, use anything you've got. Bricks, pallets, tires, workmate, more bricks, more bricks, another pallet, bricks. So all I've got to do now is come back tomorrow and hope it's all stuck. So I'll see you then. Day two. I really hope this glue's gone off. So all I gotta do now is start getting the weight out of it. Now the glue has gone off. It's still a little bit wobbly though. I mean, the majority of the strengthening areas needs to be where, pretty much where you're getting in and out, where you're gonna be kicking it and everything. The middle supports, you know, it's not overly important if they haven't completely gone off or if they're slightly wobbly, because once the floor's down, it's not gonna be an issue. But for the door steps, I think I'm gonna just reinforce it by just putting a few screws through. All right, let's get the rest of the weight out. So I've actually put these supports in here as well. And they're not to actually secure the, this footstep down or anything like that. It's literally just because this is gonna be taking such a beating getting in and out of. I know what I'm like, I trip over everything. So I'm gonna be kicking this a lot. So that's just to pretty much just reinforce this section just to give it a bit more rigidity. Because without those, I can imagine myself kicking that there and it just splitting. So that's just for added strength. So the next stage, the next stage of this build, is Salatex in all the gaps and then this what's it called it's al aluminium full tape anyway uh, just to create a vapor barrier which will go literally on top of the wooden struts but first I think I need to clean the van again <clears throat> we're a casualty it doesn't really look like, it looks more like it was the wood that failed rather than the glue. So the only thing that happened with that is I literally stepped on it and it just went pop. Hey ho, never mind. Now people have said the best way to cut cellar tax is with a saw. Um, and I tried this yesterday and it wasn't very straight because, you know, I can't cut straight. So, I'm gonna give it a go with a jigsaw.
cutting this is not very good. I mean, it's literally going everywhere. I might need to find somewhere inside to do it. And it's covering my camera in, in, in little tiny bits of dust. So I'm probably not gonna film this bit. I'm gonna be honest with you. That stuff is horrible. So as you can see, I am covered in dust. One thing I would say if you are gonna do this is make sure that you wear a mask. I did, I wore a mask pretty much through the whole cutting it all and I'm still getting a cough and a wheeze. So make sure you do that. I'm so glad I'm not gonna be using this stuff to literally insulate the whole van. It just gets everywhere and I had to cut it inside and fitting it in here and it's been a windy day and now literally the whole front of the van is covered in this like little white bits of specky horribleness. It's just not great. So now the next job is to get this and uh, start creating a vapor barrier by taping it to the wood. Wish me luck. First part is done. I mean, it does tidy it up quite a bit. Not looking forward to uh, that area over there. But one of the best things that I could have purchased for this was one of these. So if you've not seen one of these, you can literally just point it into a, into a crevice and it'll give you a, a template or a scribe that you can then trace around and cut out. It's like a spaceship. So let me just walk you through it. I've got a little hole here with a piece of string hanging out of it, which is the mouse, which runs the conduit all the way to the front. This stuff here sticks to itself really well and to this. So, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I've just realized I've missed a bit. There is a gap near the wheel arch there and I will be filling that, just not with Celotex. I'll probably just put some like recycled plastic bottle insulation in there because that's what I'm gonna do the walls with anyway. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I just hope everyone's enjoying coming along and watching the progress on this van every week. And for those of you that don't know, my wife is pregnant and she's pretty much ready to give birth at any point. So if there comes a time when I don't upload a video for a couple of weeks or anything, it might be because we're in hospital. But that's about it for today. Next week, I'll be fitting the top part of the floor and I might start doing some sound deadening as well on the panos. I'll see you then. Cheers. Cheers.